Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the previous video, we explored a new route using new methods, and we looped back to an earlier area of the game. We also caught our final party member of the team, Doduo, level 18 down here. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring Saffron City and getting done some things in this area. First, starting with this, Mr. Psychic's house. Let's check it out. Hello, Mr. Psychic. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. I've received Team 29 from Mr. Psychic. You already know, don't you? Team 29 is Psychic. It's an attack that may also lower your target's special stats. Psychic is a very, very powerful move, and I don't think a single one of my team can learn it. Let's take a peek, though. Anyone? No. So our team can't learn Psychic, so it's useless for us. But if you needed Psychic, you can get a TM for it for free. There's Mr. Psychic. There's more things to explore here though, for example, this building right here. Silfco office building. Let's take a peek inside. We're in Silfco. Okay. What is going on here? It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Per the norm. Elevator? Which floor do you want? Second floor. Okay, there's some pretty intense music for the Silfco office. There's some teleport pads around. This one takes you to the 8th floor. That's a Team Rocket member. What? T Team Rocket? Yeah, Silfco is not doing so hot. They are currently overrun by Team Rocket. I don't know if we're supposed to know this yet, but yeah, they are completely overrun. There is not a single... Silfco music is intense. Holy lord, chill out. Happy Town music. Snore. Ha! Huh, he's taking a snooze! That's pretty funny. My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Trainer tips. The new Great Ball offers many improved catching rates. I don't use Great Balls. Oh. Sylph's latest product. Released to be determined. TBD. Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. So as you can see, Team Rocket is overflowing here. What do you want? Get lost. They, they just own this place. Saffron City. Shining golden land of commerce. Fighting Dojo. Don't get deaf by it or I'll have to hurt you. Saffron City Pokemon Gym Leader, Sabrina. Okay, well, let's take a peek at this dojo. What do we have here? Hua! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. This is a little mini challenge. If you want to get some EXP, you can come in here and fight these trainers. They all have fighting type Pokemon. So, leading with <laughs> Jupiter, not the best. I believe if you're using a fighting type opponent, you're going to want to use flying type. I believe the ghost type works well as well because they can't hit you. Uh, I'm actually going to use this opportunity to train up Doduo, or at least try to. See, the problem with Doduo is she's probably really slow being really underleveled. Uh, so we're going to have to train her at some point, somehow. Uh, but I don't quite know how it's going to happen. Thankfully, this is our final team. This is the team we're going to deal with for the rest of the game. So it's not like we will have to go through early levels again. So first off, see this guy sending out a Mankey level 21. Just really fast. And I'd have to survive a cross chop. Yeah, that's just not happening. That would be a stab. Same type attack bonus. XYZ, all these words. And it's, it's a lot. So let's send Crush in to see what Crush can do. We will revive um, Doduo. And we will train Doduo with um, switch training until I believe Doduo is strong enough to do that on uh, its own. Still looking for a nickname for Doduo, by the way. I believe after this gym, the this upcoming gym, I will uh, switch out and do the nicknames, and then we will finally um, finally be done with those. Okay, let's send in Rex, I guess. Let's send in Rex. Rex is strong. Very strong member of the team. I think I might do the switch training um, with Rex, actually. It might be like a Rex takes the the beating and does the damage on behalf of Primate. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, on behalf of um, Doduo. I think that could be what we see happen here. Alright, okay, stop with the Fury Swipes. Thank you. And will you get knocked out by poison? Ah, barely not. I'll use cut. Oh, using an HM move against you. That sucks. Rex gained 998. 
988 for 300. I'm level 34. Oh, we have over 100 HP now. Oof, I give up. Oof. I can't do the Roblox oof. Yikes, that's a back to back battle. I hear you're good. Show me. All right, so here's the plan. The plan is we are going to sacrifice Jupiter. We're sacrificing Jupiter because I really need to train up Doduo. So I'll be reviving Doduo. And once, wait, revenge? I didn't do any damage. Revenge still has a base power, okay. I will switch to Doduo and then switch to Rex and then switch to Doduo, switch to Rex. I did not mean to do that. Can you one shot, please? No, okay, that was, that's all on me. Literally all on me. I uh, can't blame anyone but myself. Spammed A too hard, and uh, we lost because of it. So, uh, yeah. Very disappointed. Gonna have to sacrifice Growlithe now, and a second revive. Uh, but as I said, this experience is essential. Um, Doduo really needs it. So I will be going for that. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, we had to sacrifice good Pokemon in the process, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, technically, I need you to disappear now. Yeah, I really need you to just go away, Growlithe, because you're gonna hog the experience now. Yeah, there you go. I need Seismic to- I, I need to, to get the split as- Okay. You're just too good. I need to get the split, like, as low as possible. Meaning, instead of splitting, let's say I get, uh, 600 experience points. Instead of splitting it- 200 Growlithe, 200 Doduo, 200 Rex. I need it to be 300, 300, just to maximize Doduo's experience. Okay, Pokemon to Rex. Here we go. I'll run to the Pokemon Center after this, by the way. Totally need to. All right, the Foresight has been Foresighted. I was identified. It's gonna use a single horn attack to be done with that. Doduo will get some experience. I'll switch back, switch in. You know the, the deal. See, I could also uh, use an EXP share, but I don't have the EXP share because I didn't capture 20 kinds of Pokemon and I wasn't going to grind for that, uh, so here we are. Something I'm glad they actually did away with in later Pokemon games is those catch requirements. Um, you, you miss out on some essential items because you don't want to play the game their way. And I think that's a, a big bummer. For those of you guys who don't know, if you didn't watch the earlier episodes of the series, you can get access to uh, the EXP share, and you can get access to the item finder item, but you need to have 20 caught Pokemon and 30 caught Pokemon respectively. And I just, I'm not playing to catch every single Pokemon, so I would legitimately have to go out of my way to catch a bunch of random Pokemon just to fill the Pokedex, and I don't like that. I don't think that's how the game should be played, so I'm not doing it. We are missing out, of course, making the game a little more difficult, but that's okay. For example, if we had the item finder, we could have, um, leftovers. Judge, one point. Unfortunately, we don't have those. Oh, well. Okay, that little healing trip reminded me how much I dislike Saffron City's music. Aya, I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. That is not really a reference, but it does remind me that the fighting type is strong against the rock type, and that is solely because People who are strong with their fists can punch through rocks. Okay, so switching Doduo for Rex. Here we are. Gonna do a casual seismic toss. You might have noticed there are two Pokeballs in front of the guy at the top. We will mention those later down the road. Oh gosh, you're faster than me? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ooh, Rex might not be able to solo this. Wait, what is gonna happen then? Um... Hmm, okay. Uh, let's send Crush in? Yeah. I'll send Crush in and hope Crush can take care of this. That might be a big ask. Oh, I have to fight a second- I might even have to fight a third trainer after this. This isn't looking so hot, crew. I'm gonna be honest. Yikes. Um... Jupiter? Maybe? If Jupiter outspeeds, it's possible. You're faster than Jupiter? What? Holy lard. Okay. 
can you can you survive a single seismic toss, Jupiter? Please. Thank you. Okay. You you earned some respect points right there, Jupiter. I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. Dodo to level 19. Jupiter to not level 19. There goes Black Belt Aaron. Wow, stub my fingers. Okay. And a second one, and I think we jump into a third one after this too. Oh, take your shoes off. No. That's basically because we're on like a gym floor. Okay, three Pokemon. Holy buckets. Um... I think I need to revive Rex. <laughs> so we're gonna sacrifice Growlithe again. It's kind of cheap, but basically what this is preventing me doing is losing this fight, going back to the Pokemon Center, healing, running back in, and only having to take down two trainers at once. Right? So it's not... It's just making the process faster. I guess I'm technically keeping Poke Dollars, but I'm gonna have to buy more revives, so it evens out in the end. Okay. There we go. Critical hits. Boo-hoo. Alright, so let's send in Rex. Rex with 50 HP, though? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what Rex can do. Horn attack. Okay, that was a pretty good horn attack. And it was a miss. Nice. I'm gonna use cut here just to save uh, power points. There we go. Okay. Doduo gained some XP. Rex gained some XP. About to send in another Mankey. I'm gonna switch to Doduo. And then I'll switch back. And we'll continue this little grinding experience here. Okay, Black Belt Mike sent in a Mankey. Gonna go to Pokemon. Get Rex in here. Uh, Doduo won't have much use in the upcoming gym. Uh, I feel like I say that a lot every time we have a new member of the team. Oh, X won't have use in the next gym, but they won't. Um, not really much at all, actually. Doduo will solely be a sacrifice if I need it, so it's not in a good position to be training Doduo in the gym, so I'm doing it now. And in fact, unless I want to go out of my way, I won't even switch train Doduo in the gym. That is a primate. I will change, but to Vidalia. I'm very low on health, and I kind of need to conserve a little bit here, so I'm sending in Vidalia. I'm sending in Vidalia to try and do a Sleep Powder. I think I'm going to hit the Sleep Powder. If I hit the Sleep Powder, I missed. Stayed awake using its vital spirits. Yikes, okay. If Vidalia survives a Seismic Toss, I think the Poison type has some sort of effect against this. Am I wrong? I am not necessarily wrong, but not necessarily right. Vidalia is going to fight this one out. I think Vidalia has a strong chance of surviving here. It depends on what this Giga Drain does. A lot. That was a strong Giga Drain. Okay, let's finish this off then with Vidalia. For sure. Okay. And yep. That was a good strategy. So now we have an okay condition Rex here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to sacrifice Doduo in this next fight. Mm, but that's okay. We'll survive. There goes Black Belt Mike. I give up. Okay. Last guy. We can heal! Thank heavens! I rode the bicycle back here because I didn't like the music I would have otherwise had to have listened to. Grunt. I am the karate master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Bwah. The final man. He has two Pokemon, I believe? He's got two. Sends out a Hitmon Lee. Alright. Some people might be able to see where this fight is going. I'm going to start with Rex. Starting with Rex. Here we go. Go Rex. Okay. Hit on Lee's Foresight. That was a great way to just exchange turns right there. So, so far the fight is basically we just threw our Pokemon out for the first time. Nothing has happened there. I can get a good... Oh, that high jump hit kick. That's probably going to one shot, isn't it? Ooh, a critical two. High jump kick is a very, very risky move. High jump kick, if it misses, inflicts massive, massive damage on the user. And it has a high chance of missing. However, it does good damage if it hits. That's the exchange there. All right, there it goes. Hitmonlee down. Doduo gains to level 20. And Rex to level... If, uh, Rex didn't level up. Okay. Next up is a Hitmon Chan. We're going to switch Doduo here. For those of you guys who don't know, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are very rare Pokemon uh, here in the Cancer region. 
and they are based on Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, at least their names are. One kicks, one punches. That's a little joke there. And what we can do with that information... Oh, okay, a fire punch. That's a very powerful attack, but not super strong against Rex. Rex will be losing here. So we are going to have to rely on the other members of the team after this point. All right, but they're very rare Pokemon here in the Kanto region. We just locked them both in the Pokedex, though, so we have their information as seen. Okay, that's huge. Poison Point poisoning the Hitmonchan. Uh, I'm going to move to Crush, and I think what I'm going to do is um i'm gonna use my moves oh yikes it's got thunder punch crush survived that that's pretty effective i'm using withdraw to raise my defense Hitmonchan is afflicted by poison i will basically be stalling from this point on you guys want to see me use moves that aren't immediately effective well here's me defense walling as Crush, switching between building up my defense using Withdraw and switching to use Protect- Oh, okay, I did get a burn. So we are kind of in a war of attrition right now, which just means who can survive the most hits. All right, here we go. Pitmonchan with Poison, me and Burn. It's whoever can survive their conditions the longest. Sky Uppercut did miss, and thankfully I did go for a Water Gun. That might be enough to call it. Combined with the poison, we are set. That was a very good critical hit on Crush's part. That's going to end the battle right there. Very good. There we go. 550 to both Pokemon. Black Belt Ko Koichi was defeated. Hua! R! Beaten! 888 Poke Dollars for winning. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take your emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. You want the hard kicking Hitmon Lee? Or the Piston Punching Hitmonchan. There's also a flower here in the middle. We get to pick one of these two Pokemon. You can use it on your team if you want. I'm going to be taking Hitmon... Lee. I've received the Hitmon Lee from the Karate Master. You don't want to give a nickname to this Hitmon Lee? No, thank you. Hitmon Lee was transferred to Bill's PC. It was placed in box, box one. So there's this little exercise if you want to do it. If you leave and re-enter, they're not going to let you take the other Pokemon as well. Ugh, stay and train Karate with us. Better not get greedy. You cannot take them both, so do not consider it. Enemies on every side. Basically, this is a good way to build some EXP if you need it. Fighting Dojo. That's all that says. Funny how the gym is next to the real gym. The real gym is blocked, though. Team Rocket seems to have quite the hold on this city. That's not superb. Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. Many trainers have scribbled their names on this sign. What's going on in here? Rock's the last word on cool. End of story. Now there's a guy who I now there's a guy who I want to be like. I've read that twice. I think trainers are so cool when they're battling. Don't you think so too? Uh, they're okay. I wonder if I can become a cool trainer one day. Maybe if you turn 10. All of us gathered here are fans of Pokemon trainers. The way they look in the battle. They are the picture of coolness. Perhaps you'll be talked about here too if you keep winning. Maybe. Kind of a useless little area, but it does give us access to a TV. There's Pokemon on TV. It looks like it's having fun. Well, like I said, these are basically the only people in this gigantic city, the center of commerce, I believe it said. I can't stand this music. I'm going to ride the bicycle. And that's because Team Rocket has a huge lead. They have a gigantic hold on everything in this place. You can't go into buildings. They're blocking everything off. And I believe when we defeated Giovanni back in Celadon, he said that he's going to retreat to the Sylph Tower. Well, looks like in the next episode, let's say Pokemon Fire Red, we're taking the fight to him. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about this series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You can get some videos around. I'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Until then, as always, take care.